Thank you for calling Marlboro. For a question about your Marlboro product, say or press 1. To learn more about a Marlboro promotion... To continue in English, please press 1. Para continuar en... To improve our level of customer service, your call may be monitored or recorded. All of our... Thank you for calling the Consumer Response Center. My name is Natalie. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, ma'am. I just purchased my first pack of cigarettes. I'm thinking about becoming a smoker. And um, so I just bought a pack, and I don't see any instructions on how I'm supposed to use them. So I'm hoping you could uh, walk me through on what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not able to help you with anything like that. I'm sorry about that. Wait, what do you mean? I, you can't tell me how to use your product? I, I don't have specific instructions to give you. No, I'm sorry. What? Well, now... Whenever I buy like a lawnmower from another company or if I buy a toy from a toy company and I call them, they, they kind of help me through how to use the product. Um, why are you not allowed to tell me how to use your product? Well, I'll be more than happy to, to assist you the best I can. Uh, I do need to gather some information from you. Um, first. Uh, now you said that you're not a smoker as of right now, correct? Right, right. I'm not a smoker, and there's no reason okay. to, to get a, a whole bunch of information. Um, you should just be able to tell me, what am I supposed to do? I have a cigarette, and am I supposed to eat it? Do I? What do I do with it? Well, I would need your date of birth. 7-18-73. Okay, so you're not a smoker. I am old Thank enough you. to purchase them. Now, a friend of mine told me that I'm supposed to actually light it on fire and then suck in the smoke. Is that true? Well, um, as I said, unfortunately, I don't have any type of specific instructions I'm able to provide you. I definitely apologize about so, that. So, so you can, right. So, so you can't even confirm if I'm supposed to light it on fire and breathe in the smoke? You're not even allowed to confirm if that's what I'm supposed to do? I mean, I know, I know you don't have instructions, um, so so you can't tell me how I'm supposed to use them, but if I light it on fire and then breathe in the smoke, is that what I'm supposed to do with them? Is that what they're, is that how I'm supposed to use it? As I said, sir, unfortunately, I don't have specific instructions that I'm able to provide you. I am sorry about that. Okay. Well, that's okay. kind of weird. Now, let me ask you this. So. If I am supposed to ingest this into my body, I also don't see ingredients. Um, so what are the ingredients? If I'm gonna be lighting it on fire and breathing in the smoke, um, I need to at least know what's in it. Well, ingredient information is actually listed on our website. It's www.pmusa.com. When you go to the website, you'll actually see the tab that says um, cigarette products and you'll see where it says ingredients. You would go there, you can pick your specific brand, and um, you'll get a, the list of ingredients from there. So, and all the ingredients are on there. There's nothing that says proprietary blend or anything. It tells me everything that's in there, right? All of the ingredients are listed on the website. Okay. Does it also list the chemical reactions that happen when those ingredients become ignited on fire? Um, all of the ingredients are listed. Right, right, but ingredients change when when they're when they're uh, on fire. So since I since I'm supposed to light this on fire and breathe in the smoke, does it tell me what the ingredients become when they're lit on fire and become fumes and smoke, or no? Unfortunately, I don't believe that information is listed on there. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, ma'am. Well, I thank you for calling the Consumer Response, and I have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.